Always abide in your pure self. Paying attention to the existence consciousness. Will lead to distancing yourself from body mind. First by practice. And then it will be your natural state, effortless. Actually, it is our natural state. But we have lived in unnatural state in the person mode for so long. that we have completely forgotten our true nature which is pure presence some people complain that their mind is not focused on pure self awareness there is no need to be after mind you focus on the self and the mind will follow you if you want mind to be fixed first it will never ever happen none of us are actually person though we are behaving as a person in this body mind complex and there is no harm in acting like a body mind using this vehicle but whether we are using it or not we need to be always aware of the pure self and all the acts needs to be done from there only remember whenever we are suffering we are not acting at that time we are rea- in reality thinking we are this body mind when we are complaining 
we are not in the bliss we think we are this body mind people so many times ask what is the way to gauge our progress how far we are and the simplest answer is more peace you experience throughout the day is the measure of how close you are towards yourself because that is the nature of the self to give you peace that is the main measure rest there are so many things lack of interest in sex lack of interest in so many outside things objects hardly any desire left but the foremost is abiding in this pure bliss free from the grip of the mind slowly and slowly paying attention to the pure self living as mere presence will detach us from the body mind complex you don't even have to worry about the body mind they are already working in harmony the way they have to act by the divine will only you have to fix yourself fix yourself in your own self abiding in yourself as self paying attention to the pure awareness all the time this you can call as a practice but sooner the practice drops because this is our innate nature the body mind which you are using to act in this world is not different from so many body minds in this world including animals plants and everything the same source which is taking care of all of them is also taking of your body mind complex its care is in the divine hands you don't have to worry you just stay as what you are pure awareness in pure awareness nothing is ever happening life is at a standstill in pure awareness in pure awareness you don't have any story no one has any story in pure awareness in pure awareness there is silence there is bliss there is nothingness no one can objectify this state
where the knower and the knowledge is the same, As Bhagwan used to say that only choice we have to abide in the self. We don't have any choice in the destiny of the body-mind complex. So leave your body-mind complex to its destiny. Even if you don't leave it, it will follow its destiny. To end your suffering, you go back to what you are. Pure awareness. The only word of caution here is never take credit for any practice, any sadhana. As Bhagwan used to say that if you have come to me, then job is already done. You don't have to worry. The grace within is always working, pulling you within. Your job is just to let loose. Don't hold on to anything. Leave all the supports and jump into this ocean of deep peace. The bliss eternal. Bhagwan or our self is the same thing. Once you have shown your interest, it is like a magnet and you are like iron fillings which will keep moving inside. All this is happening due to your own grace, your own interest. Have faith, have trust in your own self. Pay attention to the pure self. You don't even have to think all this through your mind. Just accept this as the absolute truth. And your own grace will work for you. Have trust in your own self. Because of old habits, vasanas, old tendencies, you might keep slipping back into the person mode. But even remembering your own grace, grace of Bhagawan. He will establish you there.
it is very easy simple and direct nothing else needs to be done nothing needs to be done remember the doer will never able to reach there the secret to sadhana to any practice is give all the credit to the grace because in true sense it is only the grace which is working the grace is putting all in your mind to do practice to listen to the teachings to abide in the self otherwise who else can make you aware of the sleep aware of the self in this deep sleep in this unbroken sleep of this dream world called maya illusion it is the scream of the silence of self trying to wake you up this is only your own grace grace is working on you all the time stillness is calling you all the time leave everything whatever you are busy in life or you think is most important if you still think there is something more important than knowing the self then please finish that task first finish all the tasks which you think are more important than knowing the self because you will never know the self if you have a list of tasks unfinished tasks how can your mind can dissolve in self if you have given endless tasks to it after all it is your slave it will obey the master's word if the master doesn't give any task to the mind the mind will naturally dissolve into the self so don't give any tasks to the mind your list of desires likes dislikes judgmental and critical about things pay attention to the stillness within you impersonal presence without name without form without any type of identity of any relationship this is the most raw state most organic natural 
and in this state you have not borrowed anything from the world nothing from the nature anything borrowed from the nature prakriti will end just like your body mind intellect ego relationships everything will end one day it has already start ending the moment it was born so don't borrow anything from the world abide in the self which is not borrowed which is you indestructible eternal always the same purest of pure uninvolved never doing any action pure witness pure consciousness it is the only sentient being rest everything is in sentient this is the one which lets you do things even your role as a doer is because of it what a shame we don't give any credit to it and give up all your desires arising from the body mind as a doer give all your credit to the pure self rather than to the body mind look within pay attention to the pure awareness give all your respect your love your commitment to it self will reveal you itself self is always waiting to reveal you its true nature and self is not going to reveal its true nature if you have unfinished task in this transient world and self is not in a rush self has eternal patience it is only you who has to decide and here is your free will whether you want to come back home or not
if you want to come back after another millions of births self has no problem it will still stay with you till you decide if you still have unfinished task in this world if you are still enjoying this game of maya then self is not in a rush to tell you anything when the maya throws joys and sufferings in your life and you stay unruffled only to abide in pure self that is your testing ground it is not a cake walk you have to show your sincerity utmost honesty humbleness devotion to the pure self and if you meet all these qualifications no one can stop you then you have ticked all the boxes you have all the qualifications to enter the kingdom of god your own pure self and there is nothing to lose because whatever we are holding in this world one day is going to leave us even this fake body mind so you are never at loss but who understands this when people are practicing and they think they are still in the mind game and they complain it shows they are seasonal spiritual seekers they are not mature enough to go through all this suffering and stand still in pure self yes mind can create havoc because of our tendencies habits vasanas but whom to blame who has made our mind so restless only us why don't you have some forbearance and ready to take that suffering of the mind and stand still 
abiding in pure awareness with unending patience perseverance keep holding on to the pure awareness what mind can do to you it can only shout scream bring some emotions flavors of feelings you stay as impersonal presence how long can it continue doing that your power of attention will dissolve all these negative positive thoughts and feelings and emotions this fire of pure awareness will burn away everything which is not you but you have to take the side of the self paying attention to the self not the mind the laws of power of self are very different from the laws of this world because it does not follow any laws except the law of love of devotion the only language self knows is love because love is the other name of self unconditional love it is very different from the love what ego knows the love which we know through ego is selfishness love for beloved love for kids wife family relatives love for my own religion my community or even my country there are always boundaries in this love this is not love this is attachment there are hidden motives in all these loves there is give and take in all these loves the love of the self is unconditional it is like sunshine sun shining on everything equally don't waste any more time living in the mind living as the ego living as the doer living as the person who is accomplishing big task in his life or her life stay like a ghost unknown nobody knows because you are nothingness emptiness pure awareness
you have no name no form no identity you are pure awareness always you are within and without this body and mind complex they reside in you you don't reside in them you are all pervading awareness within and without in all directions you are eternal you are always in the present moment there is no past or future for you you have no story or all the stories belong to you only even if you want to go somewhere you can't go you are everywhere you are stillness you are still as a hill like arunachala motionless all the motion is the body mind not you there is no heaven or hell for you there is no place to reside or not reside you are the source you are always the source even if you don't want to be a source there is no choice you are the source even if you believe there is a god somewhere else it's not true you are that truth always stays as truth whether you believe it or not but if you want to know the truth then pay attention to your own self don't believe on his scriptures blindly you can write all these scriptures when you are the knower then it will be more authentic pay attention to the pure awareness watch everything as uninvolved observer
watching but not supporting one or the other and all actions are disinterested actions not disliking actions but disinterested not after anything small or big and not running from anything where can awareness run everything is unfolding in this pure awareness only a person can run run towards a thing or away from a thing only a doer can run only an ego can think that way nothing ever has happened in true sense in everyone's life yes the images have come and gone but you as the pure self is always the same it has not made any difference on pure self nothing can make any difference to the pure self it's always untainted uninvolved if you abide in yourself and do whatever the body mind is doing you will always be in your own bliss unruffled nothing is more important than staying as yourself
If you cannot understand with your mind, that's always okay. Just pay attention to the silence. You are the silence. Don't read too many scriptures. Too many gurus. In divine devotion, if your heart takes you somewhere, that's okay. But don't intellectualize anything. Bhagavan Ramana Maharishi's teachings are more than enough. To practice. You start where you have to end. In other techniques, you start somewhere and you go on a path or a journey and then you reach somewhere or sometimes you never reach. And the reason is because there is a doer. Doer has to go. Here you start where you have to end. There's nothingness. Who is the Jnani? Who is the knower? Knower is the one who has stopped complaining. Because what to complain to whom for what? All are only creations of the mind.
actually gyani the knower knows least as compared to anyone in this world but his least knowledge is the most profound knowledge which takes him to the eternal bliss and this knowledge is that you are nothing if you are nothing how anything can affect you nobody is interested in emptiness in reality spirituality takes away everything which this world can give you and so is the reason that there are so less spiritual seekers in the world you can count them on fingers everyone is looking to get something out of this world name fame happiness nobody wants emptiness spiritual teachers are also selling this emptiness calling it that it will give you happiness so people who have tried happiness outside are trying some happiness in a spirituality and i will guarantee you they all will fail they are coming with a selfish desire they are beggars to come to emptiness you have to be king you have to have large heart to give away everything whether self gives you anything or not is not an issue to come to this you have to give up everything first and when you give up you are what you are what you were searching was you were always that you are the devotee you are the disciple and you are the guru you are the teacher everything is you you are krishna and you are arjuna
if you are a sincere devotee to yourself your guru yourself will reveal you everything in the materialistic world you can deceive people deceive yourself you can gain lot of things by deceiving so all the techniques of the world doesn't work to know the self if you deceive if you play tricks of the mind even if one day you say you realized yourself you might have realized a devil within the ego only you cannot deceive the self nobody can do whatever you can to be the best student in your own eyes not second best be best student in your own eyes in the eyes of your pure self nothing else needs to be done if you can do that always contemplate on yourself always keep your attention on yourself get absorbed in self love Om Shanti Shanti